He says that until he puts a tax plan in place. Uh, but his tax plan is not just to keep all the Bush tax cuts. He, as I said, he wants to put another $5 trillion. This estimated uh, that it's almost impossible for you to bring down the deficit and deal with the debt with that kind of tax plan. Nearly 40% of these new taxes would go to the top 1% of all households. We have not found any serious economic study that says Governor Romney's economic plan would actually create jobs. Until today, uh, I've got to I've got to be honest. Today, uh, we found out there's a new study out uh, by nonpartisan economists that says Governor Romney's economic plan would in fact create 800,000 jobs. There's only one problem: uh, the jobs wouldn't be in America. They would not be in America. They'd be in other countries. By eliminating taxes on corporations' foreign income, Governor Romney's plan would actually encourage companies to shift more of their operations to foreign tax havens, creating 800,000 jobs in those other countries. Now, this shouldn't be a surprise, because Governor Romney's experience has been investing in what were called pioneers of the business of outsourcing. Now he wants to give more tax breaks to companies that are shipping jobs overseas. So I want everybody to understand, Ohio, I've got a different theory. Yes, sir. We don't need a president who plans to ship more jobs overseas or wants to give more tax breaks to companies that are shipping jobs overseas. I want to give tax breaks to companies that are investing right here in Ohio, that are investing in Cincinnati, that are investing in Hamilton County. I want to give incentives to companies that are investing in you, the American people, to create American jobs, making American goods that we're selling around the world, stamped with three proud words, made in America. That's why I'm running for President of the United States. Now, the difference extends not just to, to the difference in corporate taxes, it's also individual taxes. President Obama, as he speaks we to a supportive crowd in Cincinnati, Ohio, his eighth visit so far this year. We'll continue to listen. You can continue to listen, actually, by going to CNN.com slash live to continue to hear the president.